I'm Rena Herdiani. I'm from Indonesia. I work for a women's NGO Payana Mitra in Jakarta, Indonesia, and I also work for SIDO Working Group of Indonesia to monitor and advocacy of SIDO implementation in Indonesia. Yeah, the challenges in the context of laws in Indonesia in promoting gender equality, there is a lack of capacity and also understanding of SIDO to legislative, judicative, and also executive, uh, particularly in legislative. They don't know the substance of SIDO and also the principle of SIDO. Uh, and also uh, they, they don't have capacity to use uh, CEDAW uh, framework or CEDAW legal indicators in law making process. So sometimes they don't use CEDAW as a legal framework in law making process. And sometimes they also think the law that come from ratification of international convention is not the same as the domestic law because uh, they think uh, this is not applicable uh, and this is not uh, come from the local context so they think different from international convention and also uh, domestic law yeah i think uh, it is important to increase their understanding and also skill to you see though as uh, the legal framework or legal indicators in law making process and also to work together with them to review the existing law and also to make sure the draft of law that will be made by them, by the legislative, uh, it will be comply with the CEDO uh, standard and principle. Uh, I will share uh, what I have uh, got from this workshop, I will share on how to make SIDO legal indicators and also how to use these indicators to review the existing law uh, like marriage law and also domestic violence law and also for the draft of law we can review uh, draft of gender equality law and also uh, maybe we will propose a sexual violence law and also to make sure it will, it will be comply with CEDO. I hope you and women will continue to support uh, the CEDO network to work for uh, monitoring. This is one of our monitoring regarding with the law in Indonesia to be complied with CEDO. So I think after this workshop, uh, it's better if you and women support uh, training uh, or capacity building for legislative, executive, and judicative, and also involve a lot of NGOs to work on CEDO legal review for existing law or for the draft of law that will be made by executive and legislative. My name is Nini Rahayu. I'm from the Komnas Perempuan, the Independence uh, National uh, Human Rights Institution in Indonesia. My mandate is uh, to monitoring, to develop and rehab review uh, for legislative uh, to ensure that the uh, uh, gender mechanism and gender perspective and human rights to improve women human rights. About the a challenge to promote gender equality on legislative framework. I think uh, there are many three challenges. Well, firstly, how to law on lawmaking uh, because uh, on of August 2011, Komnas Perempuan recorded that there are more uh, discriminated by law and policy. There were 2007 discriminatory and the uh, name of religion and morality. Uh, secondly, how to law enforcement? Uh, because there are many legal enforcer uh, doesn't have a gender perspective and a human right perspective. That's why women cannot uh, be access to uh, justice. So 
how to improve the uh, uh, legal officer, uh, legislator, and uh, executive is uh, very uh, important. And the third is how to legal empowerment for citizenship, especially for uh, women legal empowerment. How to meet the uh, conducive uh, the citizenship uh, about uh, gender equality, human rights uh, for women, uh, etc. Uh, and I think, uh, in my opinion, the workshop helped us to be able to understanding how the legislation issue uh, in uh, Asia, how to make a policy and law more easier implementation with, uh, to monitoring, to evaluation uh, by indicator uh, CDAO. Thank you.